What's up, lovers? It's me again, Lorene and Miggy, and welcome back to our channel. A lot of you guys have been messaging us on Instagram asking about our proposal story. Sabi niya, our channel. <laughs> <laughs> but yours is my name. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have been asking us on Instagram how Miggy proposed. So we'll just share our proposal Aww. story. I guess on the day off na lang during Joshua Tree. So I had no idea that he was going to propose actually when I woke up he was already dressed oh actually the day started for me at 8 a.m. yeah so I woke up and he was already dressed and usually sa Joshua Tree kasi Airbnb hits lang kami so we would usually be sweats uh -oh, like sweat. loungewear and we would spend the whole day in our Airbnb and I was surprised because he usually pag nagluluto siya syempre nakapambahay siya and he walked out of the room all dressed up super dapper look so sabi ko uy saan yung lakad natin and he said he wanted to have coffee and brunch somewhere grabe so what I told ng plinano yung outfit na yun, no? Siyempre, like, I wanted you to be ready. But, like, I can't tell you to, like, go be ka because, like, that would sound like... Yeah. <laughs> or, hmm, bakit kaya ako na ito pinapabihis? It really went on the whole day. So, we went out, we had brunch, we had coffee. We also went to Walmart to grab a few other snacks. I really started planning this after my birthday. Aww. After that birthday and with, like, my friends and all. It just hit me. And the next move is to uh, find the ring. Yeah. So the next one Off the JMA. That's the Yupa Bajo. Just the most cute. Oh, our really good friend. Trust, trusted. Plus, wala ka talaga akong alam in terms of like, ano ba yung mga style. So, nang ring, ganun. Kailangan may taga-guide eh. And so, Trish parang, is the person. Trish is the person. Trish is also the person. Yeah. Si Jazz din, tinanong ko. Marami ang tinanongan actually uh -huh. na girls. Kung ano magandang cut, anong clarity ba dapat. Yung mga ganun. Like, okay, okay. mga side quests. <laughs> okay, okay. Sabi ko, pag text niyo about it, kailangan tawag yung sa kanya chicken <laughs> So, okay na ba yung Chicken Joy? Oh, okay na ba yung okay Chicken Joy? <laughs> okay, noted, noted. So, inaali ko na lang din sa sarili ko. Because I was like really nervous though. Yeah. For our US trip, he actually met with my family Aww. na pala to ask for permission. So, yun, sobrang na-touch ako. Kasi mom and dad, of course, I called them first before posting online. And when I did call them, yung sagot ni mom, alam ko niya. Alam ko ni Tita yan. Huwag ka na sa balita. Send ko na ba yung photos <laughs> from that visit? So, super cute. Parang, Ito yung kwento behind okay. the kwento. Oh, Kasi, okay. syempre, yung, yung na-experience mo, yun yung end product, yun yung pinaghirapan ng mga little helpers ko along the way. Yeah. Ito, nagpaalam mo sa parents mo, Kaylids, Kevins, sinabi ko sa parents ko. So, everyone knew before we left. And I made sure na they all approved. Kasi family is very important. It was just a matter of hiding the secret from there. Galing, galing, galing. Wala akong clue. So back to the day off, when our friends started arriving that afternoon, I told Miggy at around 3 p.m. that I wanted to take a nap. Eh, syempre, relax tayo, di ba? Sa Airbnb nga lang. So after we went out, we did coffee in Walmart. We went back to our Airbnb and I said, I'll nap lang for an hour. Kasi Miggy suggested na, you know, lagi tayo nasa Airbnb lang. We should really go out. Like, adventure, adventure is out there! <laughs> adventure Ad is out there. Let's go to the national park, check sunsets, let's chase sunsets, yun yung sabi mo. So, the cool morning and afternoon, Oyen and Miggy told me that, Uy, parang maganda mag-shoot dito ng Wes Anderson Reel. So, sabi ko, okay, actually, parang medyo maganda nga, no? Kasi yung music and yung vibe. Bagay, bagay, bagay. It was tailor-made for it. Yeah, so I said, tara, let's keep shooting. And Miggy said, oh, perfect, para yung sunset yung ender ng reel natin. Para maganda. I remember waking up and I said, for sure it's gonna be chilly or cold tonight. Because it's always been every night. And I said, I'll just wear my sweater. Para cozy na ako. Because in the morning and afternoon, I was wearing a black tank top and a polo. And I remember Miggy telling me, parang mas maganda if same yung suot mo for the real. Kasi syempre iba na yung outfit mo. I'm like, oh nga, totoo naman. May point ka. Good looking out. Yung hindi niya alam na parts of those things mm. will be. Si Oyen alam. Kasi nung gumigimik kami sa LA, nung nakita kami like the night before, sinabi ko na sa kanya, tapos muntik pa niyang ipa-obvious dun sa loob ng bar. Kasi, What do you mean? Ha? Ano sabi ni Oyen? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oo. Oh, tapos sabi ko, Oyen, kalma ka lang. 
Malapit lang siya sa akin. Okay, so yes, alam ni Oyen. Hence, she suggested the Wes Anderson with Maggie. And so we were filming the whole day. Our other friends also, si Kim, si Adrian, and si Hannah. Thank you guys for the cute videos and pics, by the way. The big plan was just to really like look for a really good sunset. Kasi mahilig talaga sila sa sunset. Oh. Parang, hmm. It's my thing. Actually, kahit saan pa yan, kahit laon yun pa yan. Pero syempre, doon na tayo sa ano, diba? Kakaibang sunset. Mm. Joshua Tree talaga. Alam, I had the feeling. Actually, sinabi ko pa sa, oh, let's get the more expensive Airbnb. Ako oh, oh, ma. Ako ba? I know. Ako I mean, sobrang okay din yung price ng Airbnb na bunok namin. But he kept suggesting, let's book oh, no, like... Oh, like, sobrang ganda dun sa Luna Mesa. Oo. Oh, oh. But may mga Airbnbs kasi na parang... Sobrang bongga. Hindi na sana namin kailangan pumunta ng park. Pero kasi grabe Pero din may, yung presyo. Kasi, yan, oh, grabe. But you know. Eh, hindi ko naman alam. Eh, hindi ko rin alam eh. <laughs> hindi ko rin alam paano ko siya execute Kasi like, I've never gone to like the National Park. Hindi ko alam paano expect na pumunta oh, tayo. Oh, so yun, we started driving na. I, I looked for like a location. Tapos yung na, na, nakita ko na parang best place for a sunset view. Which apparently, you had to drive through the National Park for like mga 40 minutes pa. 40 to 50 minutes. From the ish. entrance. Ang mali ko pa nun, nag ako, di ba? Tapos, yung fuel mileage dun sa car, naka-miles. Yung ways ko, naka-kilometers. <laughs> Sakto lang sana if pinuloy ko siya. Pero walang leeway for oh, mistakes. Oo, walang room for error. Walang oh. room for error. Kung baga, bala na. Like, pag na-lost tayo at wala na tayong gas. So, ayoko na masimulan yung engagement namin ng ganun, di ba? So, <laughs> sabi ko, had to make an executive decision and cut the trip short. Hmm, sorry guys. Parang hindi aabot yung gas na. So, hanap na lang tayo around the area. Oh, pero marami mga mga boulders dyan. Mga rock formations. <laughs> Puntahan na lang natin, di ba? Lakad kami. Lakad kami. May park. Sa so, Joshua Tree National Park, kasi it's huge, right? And desert talaga siya. Wala ka masyado nakikita ng tao along the way. And people hike there and sometimes they get lost because it's May mga tra- a ano desert. Naman, may mga volunteer na hikers naman that will lead you back to the right path. Yeah. But anyway, But it so was an adventure. It was an adventure. We parked our car and we went out. Tapos naglakad lang kami. And there came a point, honestly, where I looked around and everything just looked the same. As in, nasa gitna talaga kami ng desert, guys. When I looked back, I couldn't see our car. Tapos lahat desert na lang. I'm like, uy, parang medyo malayo na tayo. So, we gotta head back. Oh, tapos wag pabalik ni Rattlesnake tayo na kita. Pero, the Rattlesnake was calm. It was. But it was still so scary. Si my, Kobe yun eh. My first time encountering a rattlesnake. And parang baby rattlesnake pa siya. Pero parang ganito na siya kalaki. Malaki siya. Hindi na siya baby. Siguro mga binata na siya. Binata na siya. So si Miggy yung nag-lead ng way. Pagtingin niya sa amin, lahat kami nakatayo na sa rock. So that was the first encounter. Miggy said, guys, we need to be calm. Kasi baka it can feel or it can sense. If... Our fear. Ako nagtapang-tapangan na lang talaga. And I led them away from the rattlesnake back to the car. Tapos, syempre, hindi pa tapos yung mission, di ba? Side quest lang yun. So, sabi namin, picture tayo sa kabilang side ng kalsada. <laughs> Kasi sabi ko, uy, if hindi na tayo aabot dun sa Keys View, uh, might as well just go back to the Airbnb so we can catch a sunset there. But Miggy kept insisting, uy, tingin muna tayo dito. Uy, tingin muna tayo <laughs> sa ganyan. Kaya ako sobrang love si Adrian. Kasi patol lang siya. Yeah. Ganda rin daw. Iba yun. Oo, oh, oh, sige tayo. So, Ganoon naman sila. Thank you, oh. friends. Yeah, so when we cross, may dark cloud na nag-cover ng sun. Dumilim. Dumilim. Sabi ni Adrian, oh no, there's a dark cloud that's blocking the sun. Sige. Sige. Parang gusto na umuwi ng lahat. Well, ikaw lang actually. kami lahat fight talaga. <laughs> okay, sige. Sakay na kami sa car. Driving out na of Joshua Tree. Parang sige, give up na. And then bigla nabas yung sun. Ganda. It was such like, a beautiful Right sunset. before we hit the exit, nakita namin parang stopover na pwede ka mag-take ng picture sa desert. Nakita na lupas yung sun. And it was beautiful. It was perfect. Like golden hour. Tapos ako, ikot tayo. Bisa nyo. Oo, oh, ikot tayo. <laughs> tapusin ikot na tayo. natin to. Tapusin na natin to. Sakto, pagdating namin, nag like, si Alisa yung mga tao. Yeah, it was just us. Actually, ang ganda ng timing kasi even after the proposal, people started arriving, arriving also. When we passed by it the first time, nung dapat papunta kami ng Keys View, ang dami rin tao doon. I think when he proposed, it was really just us. So it was a magical moment for me. 
Galing. So anyway, baba kami nag U-turn si Miggy, we went down and Oyen suggested that we do yung ender for the Wes Anderson film there. Pagbaba namin super ganda ng sunset and Miggy said, "Oy, parang perfect yung golden hour. Let's shoot the last clip of our Wes Anderson reel." So of course, Oyen was filming us and I stood there. If you look closely at my video, I was like checking my clothes out pa kasi nga the initial position of the ender was supposed to be Miggy was behind me and then next clip nandito na siya tapos titingin ka. Well, he was walking. <laughs> well, he was walking when he started walking. I remember pa saying na shock si Adrian sa kasi Hana nagfilm sa atin. Baka they wanna do their own thing. Cause syempre, we were filming lang our quick clip, right? I really couldn't remember everything that you said because I think na shocked din ako when it was happening. I just remember when I was standing there and you stood beside me, you told me you loved me. And I said, Aww, I love you too. And then I kissed you. And then I think when you said meeting you changed my life, that was when I... <laughs> Blacked out? <laughs> oh, right, I was trying to like remember what I was saying. But I think it was in the, along the lines of, correct me if I'm wrong, but I go, meeting you changed my life and I think our next chapter will Will even be better if Aww. you marry me. So will you marry me? Is that what I said? No, you said I love you forever. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, and that was the only line I remember, but yes, yes. Galing. Galing, 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 galing. Honestly, it was so magical. And when he proposed, and I said yes, and sobrang sayo na feeling yun. People started arriving again, and that's why also we have a group shot because may tumulong sa mga picture. But basically, that's our proposal story, and it was yun. And then right after, eh, may mga nagtanong na sa akin if we did a reshoot or if we actually did a proper shoot of our proposal, and it was all in the moment, like. Ay, the brief was casual and lang. <laughs> um, right after. We just went back to our Airbnb. We celebrated. Miggy cooked steak, cooked pasta, celebrated with friends, and just spent the entire night stargazing outside. And it was beautiful. After that, we celebrated more with friends in LA, and we are gonna celebrate more with friends here. So yes. Tapos tinawagan namin sila ng lahat. Hindi bis mga friends namin. Hindi sila ready lahat. The time difference meant. Bagong gising sila. May mga mata mata, may mga hindi pata. Yeah, but we did record it just for our own copy, like memories na lang namin, you know. But of course, we first called our family and closest friends, and we basically enjoyed the moment lang just us in LA for announcing it online para at least meron tayo a few days na tayo lang yung nakakaalam. But we really appreciate all the messages Aww. of love. Super, appreciate super. It. Up until now, I still get DMs and messages from you guys. Super, super thank you. We might not be able to reply to all of you guys, but we've read your messages and we super appreciate and we feel the love. So thank you guys. Now we have a wedding. Yeah, now we have a wedding to plan. Ah! Ah! <laughs> but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed our proposal story. Bye, guys. We love you. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. You're a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>